my Nana's pancakes. First thing I ever learned how to make from my Nana, who just passed, God bless her. Uh, these are the best, everybody loved them. The ones she made were really the best. I'm gonna teach you how to make it. This is a long format version video. This isn't the quick short for everybody's attention span. That's pretty much already gone. This is for the people that really enjoy cooking and want to learn how to make some of the best recipes. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell to join the family. Let's go to work. First things first, we gotta start off by cutting up a third of salted butter. And we're gonna put it on a little pot and we're gonna melt it, watch over it, make sure the butter does not burn. We're gonna use one cup of all purpose flour. I love to use King Arthur's. Make sure to use a teaspoon of both bacon soda and bacon powder and a teaspoon of sea salt. Also make sure to use two tablespoons of white sugar. The easiest method is just to use a whisk here and gently go through this, whisk it up a couple times just to make sure there's no clumps as you'll find clumps very regularly in sugar. That was the dry bowl. Now in the wet bowl, we're gonna crack one large egg and we're gonna add a cup of buttermilk. Now make sure you shake the buttermilk. I'm gonna show you here what happens if you don't. Get rid of that. Make sure you shake your buttermilk and make sure you use this brand, it's the best kind. That's what you want your buttermilk to look like. We're gonna add that third of salted butter that we melted. Now we're gonna give this a whisk. Now in the dry bowl, and make sure the dry bowl is always bigger than the wet bowl. We're gonna make a little hole in the middle, throw in all the wet bowl into the middle. And you don't have to whisk all of this and you don't wanna over mix this mixture here. So take the whisk and round it off to the sides there. Let the sides break down and come into the middle. And you don't wanna over whisk pancake batter, especially buttermilk pancake batter. Just go around with the whisk, break down the sides, and give the middle just a little bit of a whisk. Don't overdo this. It's very important if you want thick, fluffy pancakes. Just like most things that you cook inside of a pan like this, you want to throw about an eighth stick of salted butter down and you want to throw in some vegetable oil. The oil, or some olive oil, the oil is going to prevent the butter from burning. And it's a great mixture, especially for any kind of breakfast that you're cooking in a pan like this. Make sure you move the butter around. When the butter is completely melted, then the pan's pretty much ready to go. Grab a large spoon and by your eye, try and figure out the size of pancakes you want. This recipe is really good enough for two good sized pancakes a person and for two people. Now you notice when you put the batter down, it looks a little thinner than you thought it was gonna be, but it will thicken up, especially if you made sure you didn't over mix your buttermilk pancake mixture. And the best time to try to separate these pancakes when they're gonna thin out there, separate, and come together. The best time to separate them with a plastic spatula is in the beginning. If you wait a little longer to separate them, it's gonna be a little harder to pull them apart. Now the best time to notice that when they're getting cooked is you notice a little browning on the bottom and the bubbles are coming through the mixture. Now your pan's always the most hot in the middle because it's right directly on the burner. So just to make sure that all sides of the pancakes are being cooked evenly, spinning them around on both sides, both pancakes, spinning them around to the middle to make sure that all the pancake, all the bottom is being cooked evenly. I 
I believe pancakes is a thing that everybody gets intimidated by because they've tried to do it before and the pancakes break apart when they try flipping them. Just make sure they're cooked enough and aggressively get your spatula under it and make sure you flip them with confidence. That's how the bottom should be cooked right there. You want to cook pancakes just like a burger. You flip them one time and then make sure they're cooked enough. key thing with buttermilk pancakes is you just want the middle all the way cooked through so if the texture on both sides is pretty much the same uh, it's fully cooked it's done plate it up we want to put some sugar on these some butter and of course some Vermont maple syrup the real deal Salud. Mm. If you make this, you'll come back for more. That's it, I'm done.